Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Davy, and today I'm sharing with you five ways that I decorate in the farmhouse style that won't break the bank. These are small ways I decorate, but that have a big impact. So I hope you find some inspiration from these items that I use to decorate in the farmhouse style. So the first item that I always find and look for when I'm out antiquing or thrifting, garage sailing, are throw blankets. Afghans throw blankets are just beautiful ways to decorate in the farmhouse style, especially that cream and white. And I know when they're gently used, you may think that's rather gross, but most of the time you can throw those in the washing machine and then just hang them to dry. So that's what I do. And these are super affordable ways to add touches to your living room, your bedroom, um, just to give it that cozy farmhouse feel. My second way that I decorate in the farmhouse style is with crates. Now I've been a collector of crates for many, many years and some of them aren't even being used at this time, but I use crates to hang on my walls. I use them to corral blankets and pillows. I actually even use them as nightstands in our bedroom because I just haven't found any farmhouse style nightstands that I like and that are affordable enough. So my crates ranged from $2 a crate to, I wanna say some were like $10. So not too bad for using as decor that is so rustic and farmhouse style. And a couple of these crates I even got from my parents. So that's a good way to find things. A lot of times grandparents, parents, friends, they no longer want these items and they just think they're junk. But um, one man's trash can be another man's treasure. So definitely keep that in mind when you are looking to decorate for your farmhouse style decor. All right, the third item I always try to get is old books. So I often find old books at libraries. They have free books that they are gonna throw away or that you can take from. And I use these books as decor in my home. If the cover doesn't match my style, I will take the cover off and just use the paper part of the book. Sometimes in different seasons, I'll use different colors for the covers, we'll use those. I don't think I've actually paid for any of my books that I've used. So that is a good place to go is a library to find books or garage sailing time. When that occurs, a lot of times in those free boxes, there's books in there. People don't want to sell some of those older books. So definitely keep your eye out for those. All right, my fourth items actually that I use to decorate for the farmhouse style are jugs, crocs, and pitchers. So I kind of all corral them all into one. Um, these brown and cream jugs, I, I think they're whiskey jugs actually, I was given from my grandpa. He didn't want them anymore and at the time I wasn't really in the farmhouse style but I thought sure, why not? So I took them and now I'm so glad I did because they were free and I love decorating my home with them in my porch and in some other areas. I have been on the hunt for Crocs since I have um, gotten married and I don't have a lot. I just used the smaller ones so far. I've gotten them at consignment stores, antique stores, thrift stores, garage sales, and I just think they are a great way to add texture to the farmhouse style decor. And then pictures, of course, are always a thing to look for uh, because you can put cut flowers in them during the summer. You can put faux stems in them throughout the rest of the season. And I just think that is definitely a key element to a farmhouse style decor. Okay, I'm to my last and final um, way I decorate for the farmhouse style, and that is with baskets. I have said this numerous times that I use baskets all around my house in different ways to decorate with. And now I often look for the woven lighter colored basket, but you can also use metal baskets. I have three metal baskets that I have hanging on my wall that I found for $2 and 
I love decorating this little corner with these baskets for the seasons and I just spray painted them a different color they were silver and I spray painted them like a bronze color and I think baskets just are such a beautiful way to decorate in the farmhouse style and I recently just did a small collage um, for a basket wall and texture again that's what you want in the farmhouse style and I'm not always a huge fan of the signs that say lots of words on them I like different elements on walls like items that you could use in another area but that you can also use as decor so these are my five small items that I think make a big impact I have many more on my list so I may be doing a part two for bigger items but give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and if you have more items that you want to add to the list put them in the comments below also if you're new I'd love to have you subscribe to my youtube channel I do videos on simple and thrifted living motherhood and homemaking and I would greatly appreciate you joining my community here so I hope you are having a blessed and wonderful day and I'll talk with you in my next video. Alright, bye guys.